Now that we know how to do the basics of reading and writing data, let's go ahead and put it into a view. Now I'm actually gonna stick with that original view that I have, that original home view. We'll probably change this over time, but I wanted to answer these questions right here. And so to do this, we are gonna first off import the model itself. So from articles.models, we're gonna import the article class. And of course that's articles app models.py and then the article model class. And down here is where we're actually gonna go ahead and grab that. So if we do object or rather article object or OBJ for short, we're gonna go ahead and do article.objects.get and ID equals to two. Cause if you remember the first ID I did had no name or content. So I'll just go ahead and say two. And so we've got this article object here now and I can come in and do article name and article content. Uh, or really article title. And then I'll go ahead and come in and say article object dot title and content being ob article object dot content. And so now instead of having my H1 string being hello, Justin with some number, I can actually come in and use the content itself. So article title and then article content, right? And of course I could do it this way but I am actually kind of being a little redundant here because I'm actually setting a variable based off of a value that's inside of that object itself. So I really don't have to do it this way. Instead, what I would actually do is just use dot notation to grab that data right in there and not use those at all, but instead sort of think of, hey, I'm gonna pass in this object or pieces of this object down into this quote unquote template, but not quite template yet, but really just HTML data. And so I can save this and I can also use the title and use article and underscore obj dot ID, just so I have that ID in here as well. And again, using the F string substitution, we can unpack it just like that. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and run the server. So Python manage.py run server. And we'll go ahead and open up that page. And what do you know? This is my first title too, right? It says, hello world. Great, so the ID is two, which we could obviously verify right here with ID being that. And we refresh and what do you know? It's now actually data from the database. And we can make it pseudo random, right? So we can still use rand int and I can go ahead and say one, two, I think we made four items total. So this number here, I can go ahead and say, random ID being associated to this. And we can look that up, save it and refresh. And now, what do you know? It's actually like I'm refreshing each time here, right? It's not happening automatically. I'm doing command R to refresh and it's actually giving me content from the database. Now, I think this is amazing. This alone didn't take us that long to get to, granted, there's still a lot more things that we need to do to really flush this thing out. But at this point, we can actually connect our database with some HTML, right? So with the actual HTML showing up here. Now, if you already know how to design HTML and CSS, you're gonna look at this and be like, hey, I can really, really make that much better looking. And that's actually something we wanna do next is, is really build out this HTML. So it does look better looking, or at least it's, it's like towards what a proper website will actually render and display. Um, and so that's the very next thing that we'll do. But as we see here, I have a really cool and easy way to get data from my database and display it in the content itself. So something to be thinking about is not only how are these templates gonna show up, but how do we actually have multiple items in here, not just one? But let's go ahead and address the templates first and then we'll come back to those multiple items.